Hello and welcome back, beautiful Libra. Guys, I've got my house coat on. I'm fully dressed, but I'm freezing to death. <laughs> we had a major rainstorm yesterday and it is so cold out and I refuse to turn the heat on. It's the principle of the matter. It's some, supposed to be summertime. So just bear with me, guys. Thank you so much for joining me here. Thank you for keeping me company out here, guys. I do appreciate it, guys. You are an outlet. You're my outlet. I really enjoy doing these readings, guys. I'm, I'm really hoping for positive energy. Ooh, I'm finished business. Um, thank you so much, Libra, for all your generosity to me, your likes, your comments, and all of your subscriptions. I do appreciate it. Chaos and conflict. Somebody's asking why. They have a deep knowing, so just breathe. You've had to release something. Oh. Oh. Going the distance, serendipity. You're being blessed. Here in the now, there is no place like home. A message coming in. Hmm. Leaving the past in the past. Just staying in the here and the now. Being serendipitous, being blessed, being comfortable and secure. What's going on? Oh, a sincere offer of love, a romantic gift or an expression of love. Maybe a vacation. Locked doors are opening and removing blockages. Love is coming. This has been a permanent ending, saying goodbye to the old. Hmm. Yep, yeah, not dealing with superficial uh, energy. No, you're healing and moving forward. Hmm. A relationship breakdown. Somebody was just a uh, constantly lying. Somebody risked it all. But <laughs> look, can't escape this connection. Telepathic experiences. Your love is haunting this person. All that you ever wanted, your dream guy or your dream girl. I think that they undervalued you and they took the forbidden fruit. Unconditional love. Somebody could have trapped somebody with a pregnancy. That's why they ghosted you. They could have gotten engaged and broke their promise to you. This is divorce now. Hmm. You've set up boundaries. But this has activated somebody's heart space. Somebody was hot and cold. Huh. You could be, this could be your soulmate. Huh. Someone has an alcohol addiction here. This person is angry. That you could be dating someone new. They're burned here. They feel love bombed. Now you've got your freedom. Something is brewing. 
This person wants to reconcile with you, sees you as the star. A breakthrough, divine intervention. You could be paralyzed here. Fear of falling in love again. Love, security, and stability. A new cycle. Ooh. Boom. Cutting through. Could have gone through a dry spell, but you're going to be happy. This person wants to apologize for their bad intentions. Look, this person is saying they're single now. Some of you, it's your twin flame. Others of you, it's a soul connection. So, you could be afraid to love again, but it's here. Thinking and strategizing on their return. Somebody is holding something over this person's head. And they're vengeful. And they're getting others to do their dirty work. Holy God. Willing to share with others because they don't feel they're enough. This karmic was willing to let this person fool around on them. Because they were so desperate. Just can't get past the pain. Losing control. So it's saying a mediator may help settle a dispute. Call a good one. This person... Uh, Hmm, you could be getting a, a promotion or a raise. It's saying that they said that they're forgiving, but they aren't. They still resent you. Somebody has got some kind of addiction using drugs or alcohol to ease the pain and anxiety. This is a karmic who's more focused on their looks. They're making plans and then canceling them. Oh my God, this is a sugar baby energy. Fake friends. Sucker falled for anything. So they're looking at your person to climb the ladder. And this person was a sucker for falling for what's looking like fake friends, uh, sugar babies. So, they were hustled to get money.
childhood issues that they thought they had dealt with. They see you as their sun, their moon, their stars. Very stingy karmic. They're cutting ties with this karmic. It's tainted love. Uh, oh, this person's determined. They have no idea what they're doing, but they're willing to learn. Oh, God. Blame karmic's blaming you. <laughs> karmic could have said that you were threatening them somehow, or this karmic is holding something over this person's head, and it could very well be you. Promising they're going to take it out on, on Libra. This person is leveling up. See, this karmic's crying wolf. And your person's heartbroken over at the loss of you. Hoping to get back together with you. This karmic... <laughs> is holding something over this person's head. They agreed to entertain other third parties, like, and are blackmailing them with it. Threatening to blackmail this person because they were sh having maybe multiple partners. Sugar babies. Figured they could celebrate, but they want to be set free. Us karmics always complaining about their life. You were rising to the top of your field. See, this person was following the crowd, easily led, wasting their time on frivolous things. They don't want to spend their money on anybody. They were sleeping with more than one person. And now they're afraid to lose you. can't get over you so they stalk your social media so this karmic's being put on a blast for whatever scheming or plotting that they've done the karmic is being put on blast it says they're returning and that they have changed Someone's hiding evidence, but they're going to be found out. They believe that some ex of theirs has changed, but they were fooling themselves. So they might have returned to somebody from their past. They're unhappily married. Catfished. Ugh. People finding you very attractive. See, they were hustling this person. So, someone from, they could have hooked up with someone from their past. And that person allowed them to have sex with more than one person. But now is blackmailing them with it. But they don't care. They're going to push ahead anyway. Mm -hmm. This is Sugar Baby. So maybe they're like a, a, you know, 
or vice versa, take it as it resonates. Because there are masculine players and there are feminine players. So take it as it resonates to your situation. Whoever your person went to or went back to allowed them to have more than one partner allowed them uh, to share and now they're being blackmailed with that information jealousy and envy fake friends f buddies jealous of you divine intervention this person is determined to return they gotta end the situation that they were stuck in it's drama competition jealousy and envy Cheating, lying, habitual liar. They may have thought that by returning to a past lover that they would be able to romance people and now they regret it. The karmic. Karmics gave up the empress for a nightmare. That's karma. Here you are, single, independent, confident, message in a bottle. Huh, the truth. Clarity. An emperor is saying that they have changed and that they they were deluding themselves. I don't know. This is divine intervention. Now Low vibrational energies. Chaser. Chasing low vibrational energies. You are being divinely protected. And this person Ooh. Defending a child? So there might have been a pregnancy here. They crossed the line. There's a pregnancy here. Somebody accusing someone of getting pregnant to get control of them. Looking at options. Huh. Oh, my God. So they're spying on your social media to see if you're in a commitment. Seeing you being blessed. No place like home. This is wish fulfillment. They're heartbroken.
See, third party let them juggle. That's why they ended things with you. They let them juggle. And now they're holding this over someone's head. Mm -hmm. Clout chaser. Sugar babies. Dating online. Clout chasers. Let them have sex with other people. But now they're blackmailing them with it, using that to destroy this person. They're feeling like a damn ass fool. Hmm. Hmm. They could have ghosted you. Fear of like, this person didn't ask, didn't want to spend no more money. Was being cheap. Casanova. What? Oh my God. Oh my God, they did. They had a Queen of Pentacles, a Queen of Cups, and a Queen of Wands. Oh, family destruction, blackmail, sexual blackmail. They could have been married. They could have got a baby mama pregnant and they had you, who is the high priestess, the earth angel, the empress. These are queens. One is a page. Look. Looks like they married the page. Glam so they were a page. And by marrying this, marrying this person, they gain clout somehow. This one agreed to allow them to have sex with these other feminines. Oh, as long as they receive clout, this is a sugar baby. This is someone very young who they may have married for clout. Or this young one, sugar baby, married them to gain clout. Whoa. Yeah, they had their choices. <laughs> but they did not know that they were being manipulated. Oh boy. So king and queen of wands is here. So you are the soulmate of this person. Someone manipulated them into letting them believe that if you choose me, I will allow you to have multiple sexual partners. A divorce. So this person loved you Paying.
They could have been paying for sexual encounters. Sugar baby, sugar daddy energy going on here. Whoever there were, this person was agreed and allowed them to have multiple sex partners in order to keep the money coming in. And this one is as long as I get the money and you pay me. Your secret is safe with me. But they had a soulmate. You were their soulmate. This is a divorce. Wanting a friendly divorce. Or they could have said that they were divorced, but they remained friends. And it could have been, they could have told you that they were divorced. They could have told you They could have divorced this ex, okay? They could have actually divorced this ex. But they're like... Oh, they're just a friend. Oh my God. They are divorced, but they're trying to remain friendly so they don't got to pay alimony or child support. So this person is divorced. But they're screwing their ex and they're screwing someone else who they got married to. Or in a commitment with. Because they allow them to have multiple partners as long as this ex gets what they want. This is a sugar baby. Gets paid for dating. Gets paid for their services. But that sugar baby allows them to have multiple sex. So this emperor or king or whoever you want to call him, Casanova, is having relationships with their ex. Is having relationships with a page. That's a sugar baby. They may have married the sugar baby with the agreements that they allow them to have sex with multiple partners. But it's a scam. They're, the sugar baby is running a scam. The sugar baby got pregnant. Oh my God, the sugar baby is manipulating this king or this Casanova as long, so they're paying, they're paying an ex-wife, they're paying this sugar baby and the, oh my God, but you were their soulmate. If you're the masculine in this read, your ex, who you have divorced, is marrying for money. 
They're a clout chaser. They could have had multiple partners. It's somebody is getting paid to have sex here or paid to be a, an escort or someone is paying someone. Oh my God. And now they want you back. This could be your twin flame or your soulmate. They want you back. This is a sugar baby who receives money for being a dating service escort or looking it's a sugar baby looking for a sugar daddy and agrees to let them have multiple partners as long as they got the money coming in and now the ex-wife got their hand out. Well, I want my money. This person is trying to play all these people. But they cannot play you. Oh, my God. So they agreed. Now they're being blackmailed. This is sexual blackmail. And they're determined. So there is a baby mama here. Oh my God. There could be up to f four people that this person was involved with. But because they got sugar baby pregnant, they may have married them. That's an ex-wife. So they got a, this is an ex-wife. This is another energy. You're another energy. And this little page now, who's the sugar baby, is holding something, blackmailing them. Several partners. So they're paying an ex-wife child support or alimony. They're paying for the services of the sugar baby. The sugar pre baby got pregnant. They may have married them, remarried. And the reason they agreed to it is because they're allowed multiple sex partners. But now that's being held over their head as blackmail. Maybe blackmailing them. Uh, I'll let every I'll gossip about you at work. I'll cause you to lose your job. I'll cause you to lose your soulmate. I'll cause if they find out about you and what you did, nobody's going to want you. I'll destroy your reputation. <laughs> I'll defame your character. Oh my god. You're like, I'm out of here. You may not even have known, but you were suspicious. You suspected them cheating, but I don't think you had any idea what this person was doing behind the scenes. That's not going to be everybody's story, so don't panic if you know it's not your person. It's not your person. But that's what this is saying. Sleeping with more than one person. Being cheap. Uh, 
so I think that this person is being blackmailed. I do. They were hustling for money. Look at the money. Happier than a, this little sugar baby? Look. Hustling hard. Give me the money. Give me the money. And your person feels like a sucker. A fool. That's why they're saying, better call a good mediator. <laughs> this sugar baby is a clout chaser, leveling up because of this person. Agreeing to let them have multiple sex partners. So they went back to an ex who then allowed them to have multiple sex partners. One of these is a sugar baby. They got the sugar baby pregnant. And now they're paying for two households. And the ex is blackmailing them. They thought, woohoo, hey, I found a perfect deal here. Till they got blackmailed. Sucker fell for people's lies. This sugar baby. <laughs> so it looks like they're trying to get a mediator in to dissolve some kind of dispute. Better call a good one. Might, you know, they're trying to avoid going uh, through lawyers and stuff. One of the people they might have been having sex with it was a workplace situation. They might have even been messing around with one of their supervisors who has the position to get them fired at any given time, so they got to kiss their ass there. This person's going broke, trying to pay for all these disputes. Yeah, like one of these people they could have been having relationships with is could be uh, um, a supervisor who has the position uh, to get them fired. Then they got this sugar baby, and then they got this ex-wife, and they got you. Had you. Yeah. No wonder they want out of it. I guess they're all played out here. <laughs> so know that if this person returns to your life, they got financial issues. They're paying for two, at least two pots. And they're, cha they're a clout chaser themselves. They're kissing it now. They got to kiss ass at work to keep their job or something like that. They might be kissing ass to a feminine supervisor's ass to keep their freaking job. Taking on all the hard jobs, giving them all the hard jobs. Everybody knows this person's a player. Ugh. 
people getting wealthy off this person and now they don't want to pay no more. They're going broke. They got no more to pay. This person kind of secretly resents you because you may have blocked them. You may have walked away and gave up on them. And I think that they did this to sort of get even with you. Oh, good. I'll show them how many people I can get. Well, all they got was themselves in a financial crisis with a bunch of drama. That's too funny, that is. I'm sorry, but it is. Mm-hmm. They were a sucker. Looks like they got catfished by a sugar baby <laughs> who's hustling hard for money here. Look, you marry me and I'll keep our little secret a secret. So this person got to be very careful how they approach things because there's a lot of money at stake here. They do one thing wrong, they could lose their position at work if they haven't already. It was easier to break your heart than their own. One of these That's uh, why this person uh, has was two faced with you. have no choice but to hide their feelings towards you. This karmic got them over a barrel. A karmic energy a sugar baby has them over a barrel. Gee, gee, gee. Plastic relationship. Hmm. They figured what a good deal this is. I can I can have as many multiple partners as I want. All I gotta do is pay the bills. Until they got pregnant. Your person was panicking. Oh my God, I'm running out of time. What am I going to tell? What am I going to tell Libra? What am I going to tell Libra? Oh my God. I mean, I'm in love with them. I'm. It was easier to break your heart than to break someone else's. And the reason for that is because they didn't want to pay money. And guess what? They've cursed their own lives. Well, you're over here healing. And guess what? Whoever this ex-wife is, whoever this sugar baby is, have cur they've cursed their own life. Because now they're stuck with somebody who's not in love with them, who has multiple partners. This person karmic knows they're still in love with you but this person got an ex-wife to deal with or an ex and they got a sugar baby who got pregnant they got to pay child support to they might be paying alimony to an ex-wife they got to pay alimony to sugar baby and you didn't get nothing out of the deal 
You're independent. You don't operate on their level. I guess this person figured it would be a fantasy somehow to live a life like that. They had multiple partners. And I think that they were even messing around with someone on the job. A supervisor who's holding that over their head. And they got to kiss their ass because they know the truth about this person if they weren't messing with them. Now they got to have all the hardest jobs. They got to take on the hardest. Um, that's why they canceled their plans with you. They didn't want to, because um, <laughs> they were still dealing with an ex. They had a sugar baby, and they knew damn well they'd get caught. You suspected some cheating, but you really couldn't put a finger on it until it was too late. And I don't know how you found out. You could have found out through social media. <laughs> You're like... Who dis? <laughs> but there's still a lot to be revealed. Kiss an ass to the bosses now. See? They got them in... Here you are, stable, at home, no place like home. And they got their cheap ass. They don't want to spend no more money. They don't. Spent it all. Because they are hell-bent and determined to get out of these relationships. I don't know what they're going to do. They have to, they're in a position where they got to kiss ass for their job. Either their supervisor knows their game and is not, is pretty strict or something like that. Is not putting up with their bullshit on the job. So they got to have the hardest jobs because their reputation has probably been slashed a little bit especially if they hit on a supervisor or screwed over a supervisor and then they got this ex who they got to pay money to and pacify and trying to keep them on a friendly level so they don't got to pay something um and the sugar baby Sounds like a nightmare to me. Nobody's happy there. And they're being a cheap ass. That's their karma. <laughs> they're angry. They're resentful. The only one they had feelings for was you. They don't even have any feelings for these people. No feelings involved. It's an arrangement. Take care.